Hello everyone, Mike the Penguin here with more Dicey Dungeons, and as you can tell, there is something different on the screen, so we're going to be starting a new mod, it's called Cosmic Variations. It's done by our very own Angel Moon, who's been around at least since I've started doing du Dicey Dungeons, really cool guy. So, it, this mod has kind of a lot of cool different stuff that I'm noticing, and I haven't actually started it, but just from what I've seen, it's pretty crazy. So. Uh, it says two new episodes, uh, but there's actually a new episode for every single character. Uh, multiple new pieces of equipment, uh, many returning enemies, like old enemies I believe were kind of canned from earlier versions, uh, updated and new variations of enemies. Uh, so I've actually, I was talking to him as he was kind of creating this and he was getting input and feedback from me on it. So I'll put a link to this mod in the description, but I am super excited to check this mod out and try it. It looks so good. Um, I'm going to go through just doing the, the newer episodes for now and then eventually get back to uh, this mod after the full release of... Dicey Dungeons comes out and I go back through that because this mod looks to be full of awesome stuff and just kind of lots of awesome changes and kind of probably almost a thing that I would always want to just have on no matter what. So uh, kudos to Angel Moon. Uh, hopefully in some way we'll be able to support him as he goes into all this mod making. So now that that's done, let's go to the main screen of Dicey Dungeons. Check this out. Look at that. That like a whole different background and everything. It looks so amazing. That's so awesome. So uh, right before I get started I just want to kind of apologize for things being so weird. I, I made the new computer so I've had some issues troubleshooting different stuff with that so obviously you can tell I've got my microphone stuff figured out and so that sounds a lot better and uh, I've had some inconsistency uploading and other things because I've had a lot going on with family and uh, there's been family member had major surgery and stuff and uh, my wife had a birthday so there's just been a lot going on in my life so that's why I've kind of been inconsistent with certain things haven't been streaming much at all so uh, forgive me for that but let's go ahead and get started so we got cosmic variations we're just gonna start off with the new first new thing I didn't actually play that I just kind of wanted to look uh, and see what's uh, gonna be set so that I could put like certain things in certain spaces and whatever. So we got double or nothing. Uh, double or nothing, I've always liked multiplication more than addition. Okay. Uh, find equipment that multiplies damage more often. Okay. Uh, start with a boomerang. Interesting. Fury is replaced by first aid. Always have a cosmic card available. All right. Uh, start with less HP. Oh, great, less HP. So excited. Lady Luck, oh, what's this? Seems like a pocket dimension has opened right on up for you. Did you enter a parallel universe? Not even an alternate dimension is free from me. And looks like the crowd agrees. It's time for an adventure. So I think some of this stuff is different, so that's why I'm actually reading through this. Uh, off you go, my little cube. Things can only get more dangerous. Interesting. Uh, let's see. Lock picker. So right off the bat, that's either a new or old enemy. I have no idea what he does. Lock picks, uh, duh. Um, unlocks Keyblade. Okay, so he's got, that's cool. It's a cool enemy. And then got a dagger. So we start off with Boomerang, so that's one of my favorite weapons, as you know. Uh, replace this with a zodiac sign. Scorpio's tail. Randomly deal blank times poison damage and inflict times poison. That's cool. That'll take some getting used to, but that's cool. Hopefully this doesn't kill me. Kind of sucks actually. Like, oh yeah, you get boomerang. Oh, first aid. Heal for 8 HP. Gain a dice. Oh, that's nice. I like that. It sounds like a great way to start the next fight. However, that hurt a lot. <laughs> Holy cow. Um, dang it. Okay, so I'm going to have to use this. I mean, I don't have to. I can kill it with the three, but that's going to hurt. I guess I do it. 
that's that, or I use first aid and hope that I get something less than a three. Man, I have one health left. There wasn't a ugh, uh, shovel. Okay, that's good. So hopefully I can kill this thing in one turn. Eggs. I I mean I might be able to. I've got to use first aid here. I got a six. That's nice. So how do I do this? Um, three would do six damage, and then I can use the six there. I still have Taurus Thrash. Or thrash. Six damage plus inflict that and give yourself curse. Eh. I don't like that. Was I supposed to keep that? I don't know. So this would be six, I only take three. And I can kill it with shovel. Alright. Hey, that's colorful. My goodness, this is cool. And like the the blue here and it's all different. Ooh, we got a super gardener to start off with. And there's variants of enemies as well, so that's right, you can't look at super enemies moves, dang it. I like that uh, first aid like and boomerang work so well together. So that's ready in two HP. Do damage and weaken may lower counts by six. Uh, lower counts by six. Interesting. Hold on. So I can... I can do that. Man, but I don't want to. That didn't affect that at all. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna play it safe at first. Oh, he's got two shovels. Okay. Okay. Could have been much worse. Okay, here's where I yeah, I do this. Take damage, first aid. Oh, come on. Max, do two damage to you, then that much fire and burn the foe. So this would be. Is this gonna be this times this? So this would be six damage. Two damage to me. No, it's five damage, okay. And one burn, okay. Sure. We'll go with that. Uh, this is gonna hurt. Please tell me I have healing available after this. So that's max three, that's fine. Uh I need... I don't need anything. I can do this, right? There we go. Okay. Okay, I got healing right here. Cool. I can't... Oh, I can't claw. Flipped hard, so we got a mimic. Uh, mimic first. Uh, this is rough. First aid, first, definitely. Shovel. Zodiac. Dang it, max of four. Frost damage and freeze a die. Curse. This would kill. Don't curse. Okay. It's worth getting the kill there for only five damage. It's fine. Ooh, what is this? Crystal sword. I like crystal sword. Uh, do... So Dark Matter is basically Boomerang. But Max is out at 5. It says may do that much damage to you. So it's kind of an... Uh, might do it or might not. Scorpio's Tail was one that was kind of cool. I feel like Crystal Sword just good though. I mean, I say that all the time. <laughs> Cause I like Crystal Sword, but you know. Uh, what do we got? So we got Bump here. I don't really like that. I have Shovel, like why? I mean, sure, that's a countdown step, but I don't want to give myself Curse, so I'll, I'll go with this. Wizard!
So that's max five. Let's see what's on the cosmic card. What? Counts minus 10, heal 10, and the foe for seven. Gain one dice. That sounds terrible. Okay, realistically, shovel. Like, I'm gonna use shovel. But realistically. do more damage with boomerang but I don't want to do I don't I don't know I'm crystal sword 10 left I can kill it next turn might hurt to so I need a five but there we go manage that what's the zodiac sign I get flick poison when active do what's that called cancer mancer <laughs> Flick poison when I do one damage for each poison, so that's a poison stacker. Got it. Uh, yes. Ten damage for the kill, five damage to me. Is it worth using the heal first? It put me right back at the same health. Or... Take five, go down to fourteen, and when I heal next time, I'll be at one, no, twenty-two. So better just use it into the next battle. But it won't be built up as well. I do have an apple up there, so broadsword, that's nice. Uh, snowball, I feel like I have to get that. Like when is snowball not good? Which there's plenty of scenarios where snowball might not be good, but. Man, shovel's just so good as well, though. I need I need an upgrade for Crystal Sword is what I need, and then I can have Snowball there, and then I'm pretty much set. I need an upgrade for Boomerang as well. Man, I guess I just see what's in the next area first. Okay, Keymaster Snowball is a must. Uh, Snowball not is great against Stereo Head. There's the upgrade though. So I guess I go stereo head first, where I don't use snowball. Yeah. And then I can upgrade crystal sword. Okay, let's see what kind of damage I can do here. Okay, this becomes a five. that thing again. Get Crystal Sword. Weaken. Gosh, not dead. Uh, do I? Yeah, let's do it. Leaves it with one health. So literally anything I slot into a shovel will kill it. That, that went pretty well. That was good. Item first. Another Crystal Sword, you kidding me? Okay, Crystal Sword gets the upgrade. So then I can put Snowball, and if I get another upgrade, that goes to Boomerang. Actually, wasn't Boomerang upgrade... Boomerang's upgrade changed? Also, Fireman's gonna get destroyed. He's weak to ice. Wow, look at all those twos. Uh, eh, Aries Assault, fine. What's that? 3 HP? Just shovel. Shovel upgrade's good too. Like, there's so many good upgrades. Here's where... No, I use Snowball? Yeah. I Snowball. And I bump this so I can use Crystal Sword and I kill it with Shovel. Look at that. 
completes the build. Hopefully you're not disappointed because literally everything here isn't new. <laughs> like Tartarus Thrash is the only thing that's new. I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff that's new. Like there's Claw. Damage add one poison, snake eye charm. Like, I think the last shop had some new stuff, but that was about it. Uh, snowball. Or do I crystal sword right now? I think I crystal sword right now. It's like, pack on the damage, bump, use snowball, shovel, slot in zodiac sign. Ooh, Sagittarius arrow. Pierce for blank fire damage minus one. Two uses. Why is it blue? Oh, is it fire minus one? Like you do that much damage and then subtract that much burn? I don't know. I got a cosmic card again. So it doesn't keep, apparently. All right. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah? No. Yeah? Eh. We've got... Bump on this. It doesn't matter which one to use here, but I can do that. Uh, no, I should've, I should've used the three on Boomerang. Oh well. He's fine. I've got heals, so I'm, I'm good to go. I like how colors change and everything. This is great. This is really great. Okay, item there. Super Alchemist will be last then. Uh, Wicker Man. Biologist. I think that's just a smoke thing because they didn't make um, sprites or whatever. Character, character sprites or designs for the old characters. Um... Man, Snowball's still good against Wicker Man, even though I don't have any fire. I mean, I could get fire straight out from Cosmic Card. Like that. So that's... What's better? If I make that a 3, that's 7. That'd be 14 damage. Plus whatever that is. Or I could do 12 damage. And set 12. I, and da, da, da. I think that only does one fire. I think technically going this way is better. So that'd be 12 damage with a burn. Crystal Sword. I'm gonna save my first aid. Would have been really good though to get frost on him. Whoa, what was that? Hold on, what was that? Did he just burn himself? I can't I can't look at his moves, dang it. He's gonna die. I'll have to look at that later. Do I use this here? I don't think so. I think I save that for the next fight. Right? Or can I kill? Gotta use this here. So then that'd be 12 for the kill. Or I can do 6, and I can't do 12 with that. So... I think in this case I do first aid first. Now I can use... I can do this. And then three. And I take less damage. And that helps first aid. I don't feel bad, mate. I'll just weave myself back together again. Gosh, I love the changes in this. Okay, biologist is level four. I've never fought the biologist before. Looks like uh, alchemist, but different. Dark matter. Ooh, dark matter. Okay. 
Um, plus one dice for this fight gain two thorn, or yeah, two thorns and two health. Um, gain an upgrade copy of equipment, reroll dice. Obtainable development. Interesting. So, man, this is a crappy dice roll. What do I got here? It's fire. Gosh, this is terrible. So I snowball. I'll just do that. Okay, what you got? Slot it all. Okay. And she didn't take damage. I definitely first aid here. Crystal sword. Nah. As much as I would love to, I have to use shovel here, I feel like. And snowball. Zodiac sign. That's fine, lower counts. Do I boomerang, yes or no? What's that take? Ready in nine HP. I'm banking on it not getting a five. I eh, got a five, dang it. But that's, okay, weakened didn't do anything. So that's kind of dumb. Um, I can win though, so I go up a level after this, yes? That was an interesting fight. I like that enemy. I'm liking this mode a lot. This is going pretty well. I don't go up. Ah, oh, man. Crystal sword for staff, and this is the full crystal sword. That's a deal. Totally a deal. Super Alchemist, I don't remember what Super Alchemist is going to be like, but we'll see. I'm kind of scared. I got a 6 so Can't look at super enemy stuff. It's another 6. So I guess... Man, this sucks. Definitely Shovel. Definitely this. Bump. Boomerang. Gosh, I can't see. I hate that. What you got? Oh, just the bear potion. Okay. Dang, and you got it too. It's not the upgrade bear potion, I don't think, though, because it didn't go up a level, right? It's okay. She's dead. Crystal Sword's got this. Ooh. Ooh. Upgrade. Polar Star. Two times. Blank damage. Only use on even turns. Battle Axe. Gotta upgrade. Gotta upgrade the Boomerang. Like, that's a must, especially at this point. Makes it usable. Whip. Man, I like that. Okay, we got ourselves a snowman here, so snowball's out. Do I pull? I have to keep bump. I pull shovel. Cause I won't do much. Whip goes in. Do I pull one of these for staff? I think I pull crystal sword for staff. Cause these just straight up do more damage over time because the double damage from fire. So like using these two twice is gonna be more effective than that once probably. Probably. Okay, we got two super enemies as well. I like that there's a, more of a difference between 
possibly getting super enemies over just level 5 enemies. Wow. Um, Weep. Burn boomerang. Look at that. Great. That's what I need. It's also great that it's odds were the ones that got hit there. I think it's dead. That's a good start. Anything else weak against fire? No, nope, Rat King. Which Kraken. Alright, fire back out. A shovel, snowball in, crystal sword in. Um, Rat King's gonna be a piece of cake, so I'll go after that first. I'm not even gonna go for the, an the upgrade there. I was gonna say anvil, like I know what the heck it is. Strong gets poison. Will it do enough damage for that? I'm just gonna go ahead and do, okay. Wow. Uh, bump. Crystal sword, weaken, snowball, 12 damage. Not even gonna bother. Nice. Good job, Rat King. Good job. Snowy snowball, and kill. Out the items first. Counter spell. I like counter spell. Used it before. Ooh, another upgrade. Oh my goodness. Lightning rod and health. Oh. I'll upgrade shovel, I guess. Wait, since when is snowball plus two damage? I thought it snowball made it to where you could use anything in snowball. Also, two bumps is great. I think I go bump. And then here I do snowball. Super Kraken or Super Sorceress? Let's go with Kraken first. No specific reason. I do need to remember I can go and buy some health, so that's good. So I probably should have went with Sorceress first. Still can't look at its moves, that's great. So we got awesome snowball, bump for crystal sword, that bump for boomerang. Yeah, I'd say that's a good turn. <laughs> Just beat the snot out of him. One even. I did not read what all that was. Oh my goodness. I wish that. I don't know. I guess the. Uh, I was gonna say, I wish you could, like, sort of see what was used. But there is a feature that does that. It's called clicking to be able to see the enemy's moves. Except I can't do that. How. Okay, Kraken's weak to shock is new. I like that. I really like that being added in. So with Snowball, I can't kill. However, I can do this and kill with Boomerang. Hey, yo, let's go. Full health. Super Sorceress it is. It's been pretty chill. See, this is the kind of like modifications that I like. I mean, it hasn't been super difficult it probably could be a little more difficult but I think I've also gotten really lucky with some of my pickups but it just changes some stuff in a way that just everything just seems really nice snowball doesn't do a whole lot so crystal swords better here Uh, 
bump so I can use snowball though. Extra damage there. Sure. I'm gonna save my first aid for the boss. Catastrophe. Got ice shards, Aquarius Avalanche. Do frost damage and freeze a die. Use twice. Oh, snap. That's three damage. That's three damage. <laughs> Still wasn't enough to best me. Okay, we got a boss coming up. Hopefully, I'm actually kind of wanting dragon because it's not immune to freeze. There's just a healing and lightning rod. I forget what makes the damage counter go up on that. Let's buy it just because. Uh, Scath. Immune to lock and freeze. Not weak to anything specific. Counter spell wouldn't be bad. So I can lock it out of specific things if I get lucky. But it only has one dice if I remember. What else would I want to do? I mean, I'm keeping everything else, so Snowball's better just because it's got plus two. So, and yeah, I, right after I said, oh yeah, it's immune to lock and freeze, I was like, oh yeah, I could use this and lock it. No, I can't. Oh, are these are these different? Damage plus one. This seems tamed down. Cause I thought it used to do like shock everything and do oh it's that plus six okay and it's six no matter what so six plus six five plus five three plus three okay that makes sense all right so we've got shovel would have to be pretty lucky I think I boomerang here I bump this twice. Crystal sword. I'm gonna slot in a cosmic card. Oh, hey. What are the odds of that? Yeah, we'll go with that. 30 damage first turn. Oh my gosh, really? Got a stormy first turn? And I'm silenced? Oh my goodness. This is terrible. Um. I think I gotta undo the silence. First aid. Go on this route. Pump this up a couple times. Boomerang. Probably should have done Cosmic Card first, but. One shock. Inflict weakened gain. Armor? Okay, a one. That's doable. Inflict curse. That's fine too. Much better. I will take curse. Wow, this is great. Um, curse? No. Freeze the dice. Don't do it. Oh my gosh. This doesn't matter which one to use, right? No. Okay, one more turn. I gotta survive one more turn, which I can, because the max damage I can do is 12. Oh, snap. Wow, two sixes locked. That's fine, it's dead. Ish dead. That was a good fight. That was fun. I like that. Woo! All done. Gosh, I love this setup, the background, and whatever. It's amazing. All right. So thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you Angel Moon for making this. Again, I'll put a link to this mod in the description if you would like to play it for yourself. It's set up right now for 
um, version 17.2, I believe. You can check that out. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my videos, please uh, subscribe. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, you can thumbs down. I might cry a little bit, but oh well. Uh, and you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Discord, even though I haven't been streaming very much lately, but you know, might as well follow me and then if I ever do stream, then you'll know. Uh, thank you again so much for watching. I'm so excited for all of this content, like these mods and everything. I'm so excited for the game to actually be released on the 13th, I believe it was. Uh, and yeah, things are things are going to get pretty fun around here, especially with this uh, mod and the mod makers we have for this community. It's going to be real fun with this game. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.